called the area chart and basically is the line chart but then under it it has the it, it, it has a shade under it Basically, this will give you a good uh, visual representation so you can keep track of how that uh, specific metric worked. This one is already chaotic, but imagine it's only the line charts. This one will be really difficult to keep track of. But instead, having the colors, I can see, for instance, here, I can see the, the pink. This one I can keep track of here because I can see the, the, the shade of the pink. Yeah that's that's how i can keep track of it but also another flavor of it and i think this one is more col uh more common is the stacked area chart and then this one is another variation of the area chart and i think this one is more common to see if you ever uh seen this type of of graph and the idea here is that it is the same thing as the the area chart but instead of overlapping all the metrics or the categories or variables they are there are stacked so you can see the the total amount for maybe here we have the overtime type of of area chart so you can see month by month but you can see how that is stacked to each other so this will give you the total amount for that specific month but also the area chart allows you to actually see how much each of those contributed and again much like the last one here is the 100 percent area chart and this one you will see that it will feel the whole chart it doesn't really matter what was the total for that month and to compare it with the total with the other month we just need to know how much each of these uh, categories or variables uh, were uh, contributed to the entire result here.